Hello, my name is Dan Lo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, install BlueJ on Windows 10 machine. Okay, uh, you can follow the direction uh, to work on uh, other machines like Mac or Linux it will be very similar. So, uh, what you have to do is two steps. First, you need to download and install JDK, and at the time of uh, creating this video, I got a, a, the JDK version 16.0.2 uh, Windows 64 bit version. Okay. Second, I can download and install BlueJ. And at the time of this video creation, the version is 5.0.1. Okay. So here's how I uh, normally will do I go to the Google, okay. And then I <coughs> type in uh, download JDK. And then I get to uh, the Oracle you know, website, and here the JDK download. Click on it, okay. And then I scroll down. You know, uh, since my machine is a Windows 10, I choose the Windows 64 version right here. And you can choose the install the version or complete archive. I choose the uh, the archive, okay. So you can click on it, and you get it get it downloaded to your local machine, okay. If you are using the Linux, then you choose this this one okay you are using the Mac you ch choose this one okay that's the JDK so we downloaded for it I already downloaded so I'm not going to do it again here and then the other one is that you download BlueJ okay download okay so it take you to a BlueJ uh, official website right here and then uh, here you has download and install then uh, depends on your machine you can Mac you choose here if uh, you want to you pick here or others and mine is Windows so I'm just click on it here, okay. And it, oh, it download this guy. So I don't need to download it again. So I cancel it. I already downloaded it right here. BlueJ Windows, uh, 50, okay, right here. So now uh, I go click on it and show the folder. And this is actually go to my download folder. And here my download folder. Uh, this is the one that's in incomplete. So. Uh, and wait, this is this is the one I remove it. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, blue J right here. Okay, so I have this one and this one. Okay, so let's start with JGK. So you can right click on it. Okay, and then uh, extract. Okay, I can use unzip using the seven zip. Okay, so extract files. So after that, uh, just click OK. It will extract a folder here, right here. Okay. So double click on it, and this is JDK uh, 16.0.4, and then I have uh, bin right here. Okay. So that uh, this is the archive, all I have. So um, <coughs> you can. Uh, Uh, you can copy the whole thing. Okay, copy the whole thing. Uh, so you can double check. Okay, you can double check whether you can run it. Okay, so you go to here. You can have a Java compiler. Java. So Java. This is Java in virtual machine, and this is Java compiler. Okay, so you can uh, double click on it. Okay, so it bring you to. Uh, the DOS window. Okay, so uh, let me start out with the DOS window so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here's DOS window right here. Okay, so I can go to uh, your download folder. Okay, and your download folder you got uh, JDK. Okay, so you can go to uh, JDK. System point zero point two window X. Okay. So now you got this folder, and then you can go. Oh uh, wait, we got Java C. Sorry. So. Oh uh, wait, this is bin directory. I have Java compiler. Oh, uh, it doesn't find anything. Let me double check. Okay. So, it's just all to wait, 
hold on one second okay so I need to go to oh, the bin so what's inside the bin let me double check oh I need to go to JDK okay so now I have bin okay so now if I type Java uh, it's gonna run uh, Java version or oh, this is point zero point two okay and then uh, if I type uh, Java C okay uh, no it will run Java C okay so you will speed out something that means it's running okay so uh, so next step is that we want to you know copy the whole thing you know over the the folder uh, under the C program file. Okay, so if we go up here, uh, then uh, go one more. So we just copy this, copy. Okay, copy the whole thing, and then go to your drive C, and go to uh, program files. Okay, then go to Java, and inside I already have some version of JDK, so I can just you know pass it over. And then uh, you need to provide demonstration. Okay, continue. 